Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the webinar on Earnings Max. Uh, my name is Hari Swaminathan. Uh, thanks for coming to the uh, attending the webinar. Now, we know that we are at the cusp of earnings season. In fact, Alcoa kicked it off uh, yesterday. And then we have JP Morgan and a couple of financials on Friday. And then starting from next week, we have some of the more popular tech uh, names, the bigger ones, Google reports next week as well. So, uh, so this product is a timely product for this earning season. Um, so let's get right into it. My name is Hari Swaminathan. I'm the founder of OptionTiger.com. Option Tiger is, uh, specializes in uh, options trading, options education, proprietary strategies, uh, and uh, everything to do with options. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in engineering from India and an MBA from Columbia Business School in New York. I've been an options trader for about eight, going on nine years now. Uh, and most of the most of the initial years, at least a couple of years, was very frustrating with options. Um, it takes a lot. It takes learning curve. And um, until you get the nuts and bolts of it, you're probably... Uh, you know, experimenting because you think you know what's going on and actually something comes and bites you. So um, at Option Tiger, just a brief background, you know, we've um, sort of covered the education on options in seven modules. It starts anybody from a beginner all the way to uh, advanced levels. There's 46 courses there. And then once you get the options education, uh, Option Tiger specializes in uh, specific uh, methods, uh, specific uh, trading systems. Uh, all of these trading systems come with a um, uh, with an edge to the trader. Um, obviously, when it comes to options, there's nothing. Uh, you know, no system can be algorithmic, fully hundred percent algorithmic. Uh, meaning, uh, you know, you can have a method, you can have an approach, uh, but you can't reduce it into into a rule ba a complete rule based uh, system because there are many moving uh, moving parameters. Uh, and uh, so it's, uh, you know, you can't have a black box system. So um, with that in mind, uh, Option Tiger also has uh, proprietary uh, trading systems. Uh, the Condor Max is, um, is, a, is a fairly advanced uh, uh, system to, uh, to put and manage iron condors. And of course, if you can do that, then obviously it goes for credit spreads as well. Uh, there's two income max strategies, the straddle system and the spread system. Uh, they are much more simpler strategies, but uh, they are no less powerful. Um, and this year we launched the day trade max and the swing trade max system um, where, you know, in the day trade max, of course, it's a day trading. It's a short term trading system, whereas the swing trade max is more of uh, a few days to maybe a couple of weeks, uh, something like that. But you have the opportunity to. Uh, make some explosive returns on your trades. Uh, the newest product is Earnings Max, which is just launched this week, uh, and it covers uh, the the a, a complete approach to how you would approach earning season. Now we all know that earning season, um, you know, produces some very exciting opportunities, and but at the same time, if you approach the earning season with a method. Uh, then you're more, you're obviously, you know, you've got to be prepared for uh, what's, uh, you know, what's, you know, what's going to happen with the stock. And so there are uh, some systems and we'll get into the details, you know, obviously, you know, in this webinar. And of course, uh, we just launched this. So there's a launch special and uh, I'll get into that as well. And we can jump into Q&A right after that. Okay, so what is earnings max? Now, in earnings season, there are, you know, you know of all stocks behave, uh, which you probably know, all stocks behave in, um, in a, a sort of extraordinary way, in a, in a very abnormal way. Uh, we know that volatility um, uh, goes through a severe change during, uh, you know, before the earnings event, during the earnings event, and even after the earnings event. And so there are... In, if you look at any 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 stock by doing a little bit of studies on how that stock has behaved, uh, you can you can find um, you can actually uh, you know think of the right kind of uh, trade that might work for the stock. So basically, what we've done in Earnings Max is there are four categories of trades, 
and I'll get into these categories a little later on the next slide. But there are four categories of trades and within these categories there are six, there are more than that actually, there are six to eight uh, different trades or different strategies. So, you know, whether it's a uh, long movement strategy or a short volatility strategy, whatever it is, uh, those would be the categories. And then within those categories, you have uh, six or more kinds of trades uh, that you can apply. Now, so the advantage of this is, uh, you know, once you once you've got your thinking around, uh, you know, this kind of a way where, you know, you're thinking about, okay, which category of trade would this stock fit into? And that, of course, goes back to a little bit of background study on the stock itself and how it moves and, you know, what the volatility patterns are and what, what its movement patterns are. Then you're able to uh, put that stock into the right category. And so that's really important. Uh, and, you know, which is the trade that you choose. So we'll, I'll touch upon that on the next slide as well. Now, one thing is critical for earnings trades. You have to have a very thorough understanding of how implied volatility and time decay affect uh, the options uh, itself. So obviously, there is a very detailed study of, uh, you know, this phenomenon and uh, we'll uh, and that's all part of the uh, part of the product as well so the first thing we have to do in any earnings trade you, is you need to devote some time and we all know that earnings trades can be highly speculative uh, you know there's no other way to put it yeah it's a it's it's really a uh, roll of the dice the stock can either blast up blast down or not do much uh, you know but basically most of the time if it meets or exceeds the expectations then the stock is going to blast off if it doesn't meet with the expectation even though it might have good results but if it doesn't meet with the expectation then it's going to uh, tank and if it's somewhat wishy-washy in between then what you're going to see is you know it'll probably go down a little bit but uh, you know not a whole lot so you you have to analyze the background and so what kind of information do you need what do you uh, where do you go get you know find that information all of that requires for each stock i would say no more than 30 minutes of uh, you know of, of research and, uh, and and background study but in, in the case of earnings trades it's very important to do that it's it's important to get a good understanding of okay what has this stock done what is its stock going to do what are the expectations and uh, you know what do what does the general market uh, you know feel about it so a little bit of research uh, is required so all of that is uh, you know part of the part of the product itself uh, show you where exactly to go, what kinds of information to look for. And then most importantly, out of the four categories of trades, which category does this stock really fit into? Now, again, like we said, you know, the earnings trades are always going to be one of chance. However, chance favors the prepared. And so the more you get prepared for it, uh, the more likelihood, uh, you know, the, the more of a likelihood you'll have of being successful. And, and let's face it, you know, if, the earn, if an earnings trade goes well, uh, it can really blast off. Uh, so, you know, either you're looking for, you know, a time decay or a volatility crush, whatever the case might be, uh, in a matter of a day or two, you can, you can produce some fantastic results. So, and then of course, once you uh, fit the fit the trade into one of the categories, then obviously you have to you know select the trade itself. You know which strategy you want to put. Of, of course, all of that is covered. But one of the more important aspects is okay, which expiry do you choose for this particular trade type or this particular category type? And then what are the strike prices? What are the considerations of uh, how you choose your option? Now, for each of these trade types you obviously will need to plan for what if it goes against you you know after the earnings event or before the earnings event what you know what are we going to do if it goes against us because there is a very good chance that it might go against us and therefore for each of these categories what you'll see is uh, the adjustments are also planned most of the time the adjustments can be simple uh, in one particular category is the only one where uh, it becomes a little involved uh, with uh, you know the adjustments uh, may take you for a couple of weeks or so to get back to uh, break even because on an earnings trade if it goes against us then what we want to try to do is to get to break even because obviously uh, uh, you know whether we expected movement or we did not expect movement whatever the expectation was if it did not occur then the trade has gone against us in which case 
our goal is then to come back to break even. And so that's exactly what the, uh, the adjustment toolkit is all about. For each of the trade categories, uh, you'll find uh, ways to come back to break even. If not, uh, you know, make a small profit or perhaps a small loss, whatever. If we can, you know, the, 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 the principle is very clear. If you can manage uh, the ones that go against us properly, uh, the winners, uh, them, you know, themselves will, uh, will make up for uh, the, the ones that go against us. But most important is chance favors the prepared. So there is a little bit of preparation involved before you uh, take uh, an earnings trade on any stock. Uh, and so that's important to do. It's important to devote that uh, little bit of time. It's not a whole lot. 30 minutes is plenty for any stock, but it will um, it'll help you put the stock into the right category of trade, choose the right uh, you know trade type, and then, of course, choose the expiry strike prices. And then also it will give you time to plan your adjustments in case the trade goes against you. So let's talk about the trade categories. Um, so as we know, you know, there's a huge volatility bump before earnings. So how do we take advantage of this volatility bump? And then right after earnings, we see the volatility crash. So how do we take advantage of the volatility crash? Uh, most important again is, you know, which is the trade, which trade is right for this particular stock. So there's, uh, you know, going to be uh, some, uh, you know, some analysis required for that. And uh, so all of that is also part of, uh, you know, what you'll find inside. Uh, and then, of course, there is the long movement or the short movement. And then, you know, many people uh, sort of disregard what to do after the earnings events. You know, there are some, uh, you know, after the earnings events can give us some very good ideas of uh, how to trade the stock, at least until the next uh, trading event, I mean, uh, earnings event. So all of that is also covered in the product itself. Um, so what you get is, first of all, you know, a very detailed analysis of the earning cycle itself. And, and that kind of a background is important so that you know what to look for, what to expect, and uh, how we should approach uh, the earnings uh, season itself. Then, of, co of course, nothing can be complete um, when you talk of options and you talk of earnings reports. Nothing can be, uh, no trade will be well designed if you don't understand the, uh, the, the, the uh, you know, the complete volatility cycle that every stock goes through during the earnings season. And if you look at the few weeks before the event, there is a very pretty, um, you know, no, I, I won't say complex, but it's a very, uh, you know, the, the, there's a there's a very, uh, a, what, uh, what do you say? There's a very important interplay between time decay and implied volatility that goes on right before earnings. And, and so it's important to understand that and, um, so, you know, so that you know what to expect with the with each of these trade types. And of course, each trade category is explained in detail. There are four categories and then there are six or more trades uh, in total that you can uh, you know that you can use for earnings so now you know this six these six plus trades uh, you know are they comprehensive uh, you know is it all the trades no i mean i'm sure you can find other trades as well but uh, you know these once you know these six trades uh, you have a fairly comprehensive toolkit of trades to apply for so when you when you approach earnings when you look at a stock and you say okay i think you know this uh, this stock will be good for this category or this trade type. And that's really what you want to do because you want to pick the right trade for that particular stock or that particular expectation that uh, we may have, that uh, the analysts may have, whatever the case might be, but you want to you want to check that out properly. And of course, we'll do one sample trade in each of these uh, categories that will also be part of the uh, part of the product itself. Uh, totally, you'll get about, you'll see about 15 to 20 videos in the product, just like any other Option Tiger product that you may or may not have. Any questions, obviously, you can always email me at info at optiontiger.com. Um, otherwise, now I, um, you know, let's get to q and I'm um, sure people may have questions. So uh, let's, uh, you know, get started. Uh, so anything on earnings max or for that matter, any other questions as well?
So next week, I think Google is uh, reporting and um, then, uh, of course, uh, then the Apple, Netflix, all of that uh, comes along. But for the next month and a half is when all, most of the big stocks uh, report. And um, so there's, you know, all, all of these stocks actually fall into some kind of, a, you know, one of these, they, they fall well into one of the categories. And so, it, you know, that's the... That's the important part to see which one they fall in. Now, of course, granted, on any given earning, uh, given earnings uh, event, uh, it's always possible to um, the uh, you know to uh, that the stock won't behave like you you know like we thought or the analysts thought or uh, you know uh, and 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 that's very possible. And so you know you have to be prepared for that eventuality as well. All right, Roger says made hundred thousand percent on Netflix weekly calls on one twenty four. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> that's the kind of return we would all like to see. Yeah, that's great. I guess you must have uh, bought some uh, very cheap out of the money uh, option, and Netflix blew off. Yeah, okay, that was the one with uh, Carl Icahn. I think he. Uh, uh, I think he made he came and made some noise or something the day after Netflix reported and Netflix went down I think ninety dollars uh, on that or was it I, I don't know if that was the one or the one before that. Do you use any indicators? Uh, uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, because earnings is not a technical pattern trade. Uh, you know, it is not a technical pattern trade. So um, you might use indicators just to, you know, get a feel for what the levels are and, uh, you know, all of that. But really, it's not a technical trade at all. Um, so no, you don't use, I mean, you, you basically, the parameters that go into an earnings trade are, you know, you, you're going to look at volatility, you're going to look at time decay, you're going to look at movement. So those are the primary considerations, uh, for an earnings trade. So, you know, and some of it is of course, you know, historical, uh, approach. So you need to look at what the stock has done before. However, that doesn't mean that it's going to do it again. Uh, and, uh, you know. The uh, you know the so you know you'd have to prepare for what happens if uh, if that movement uh, you know doesn't work. Do you know how to follow the smart money? Yeah. Uh, well, you you know b before or after earnings, uh, it's yeah. I mean, you can there's several ways to do that. Um, the you know you can look at uh, you know obviously um, volumes and everything. Uh, you can look at the open interest, but of course you know these are tools that anybody has. Uh, I don't have any proprietary method. Uh, Daniel, uh, yes, non-spread capable, non-spread capable. Um, you could do perhaps a few of those trades, um, but in general, uh, you would want to, you can do, you can do a few of those trades. Let me just think of the trades and I'll tell you. Um, but you know, not being able to do a spread is a disadvantage for sure, not just for earnings uh, trades, but in general itself. Um, so for earnings trades, um, you can you can probably do an earnings trade. Uh, and if you wanted to hedge it with a spread, you won't be able to do that, obviously. And then um, the uh, uh, the what do you call uh, uh, you know, and then if you wanted to adjust the trade, if it goes against you with a spread, you won't be able to do that. So those are the limitations, uh, obviously, but there are trades you can take that will, uh, you know, but you see, but I agree, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not a whole lot. You, you, you'll be boxed into one or two types of trades. And obviously you don't want to get boxed up like that because, uh, yeah, you know, you, you want to have the flexibility. So, yeah, if you if you if you if you're not able to do spreads in your account, I would say um, you you will be pretty severely handicapped. All right, Roger says, look at 10k trades three days before earnings. Yeah, good 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 point. Um, the you know that's one way to look at uh, what the smart money is doing. Um, you can also look at volume buildup, right? Basically the same thing. Uh, you know, before uh, before the event itself, you can look at open interest and which way. 
uh, the, um, you know, uh, which way uh, the open interest, where is the most open interest concentrated? So that's also another way of looking at it. Yep, sure, Daniel. Netflix is always an easy strangle, 10 to 20% out of the money, 90% winners. Are you talking of a long strangle or a short strangle? I think you mean uh, I, 10 to 20% out of the money uh, weekly. Yeah, no, I know. But are you buying the strangle or are you selling the strangle? I think you mean buying the strangle. So either, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Buying. Right. Okay. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, it, it works, but you know, it will work. It, like, like I said, there are some stocks that always move uh, quite a bit. Uh, and uh, so a particular trade, a, you know, type of trade is, is good for that stock. Uh, however, having said that, you know, you'll always run into that one time when, you know, it may not make the move that you expected or, uh, you know, it'll do something weird. So, I mean, that's just the nature of earning trades. It is sort of speculative. But the good thing is if you approach it from an analytical standpoint, uh, even if it doesn't do what you expect it to do, you can still come out ahead. And so, you know, some of these trade types are those kinds where even if you think that, uh, you know, whether it's a long movement or the volatility crash or whatever the case might be, uh, the, uh, you know, you can, you can still come out ahead. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, market makers expected move, but, you know, market maker expected moves are almost always wrong. And, um, you know, of course, you know, they, they, they also take some kind of a educated guess and we go with that. And, you know, we base our strategy based on the expected move. Uh, but many a time these expected moves uh, get burnt. And, um, you know, it, uh, sometimes, they're, you know, they're pretty good, but uh, most of the time they get burnt. Yeah, Daniel, it, you know, it, it'll be difficult to, uh, you know, fit the fit these earnings trades if you can only do long calls or long puts. Um, it will put you in some kind of a disadvantage. You can probably do the trade. Where I see the issue coming is if you, after the trade, if it doesn't go in your favor, then uh, almost always the adjustment mechanisms would involve a spread uh, of some sort. And, um, you know, so if you... Uh, if you get into that part of it, then uh, it might be an issue there. You can still do straddles. Uh, yeah, you can still do st uh, strangle straddles. Um, but when you want to adjust, exactly, exactly. That's what I mean. So you can still do strangles and straddles. Um, but, uh, you know, if something goes wrong, then obviously the adjustment is uh, the uh, is the uh, is, is the issue there. Yes, the courseware is available right now. Uh, it's all ready. The sample trades are the only one uh, I'm wait because some of these trades have to be put on uh, the you know just before earnings. Some of it will be put on on the on the day of earnings. Some of it will be put uh, uh, right after the earnings event. So all of that obviously. So the sample trades is the only one that's uh, you know that's left to do, which I'll do, I'll be adding to the courseware as we approach some of these uh, stocks. So next week is Google. We'll have a, one or two trades on Google. Uh, and then whatever comes after, I think Apple and Netflix and all of them come right after that. So uh, we'll be analyzing the stock and, you know, which, which trade fits for these, uh, you know, for these stocks. So we'll be doing all of that. But the, yeah, the basic courseware is available, uh, you know, right now. Uh, are there any stats available for this system? It's not a system, Nitin. It's a playbook. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, like I say, it's like a blueprint of how you approach earning season. Uh, okay. And within, and, and once you, once you get the blueprint, then it shows you the kinds of trades that will work for the kinds of situations. Situation meaning, you know, the stock, the volatility, whatever. Uh, you know, it, it shows you that. So it's not a system uh, per se. Uh, it's a playbook. It's a, it's a complete analysis of the earnings cycle. It's a 
complete uh, comprehensive um, uh, you know approach it's it's more of an approach rather than a system because many people you know many people take earnings trade i mean earnings trades are very very popular and for good reason because if they work in your favor it can be a blockbuster uh, and so many people take earnings trades but uh, you know i i, I don't see uh, at least so with many discussions that i've had i don't see a very methodological you know a a a, a structured approach to uh, you know to uh, to these trades and that's what this is all about these are i mean these are approaches that i've taken in my own trades obviously you know over many many earning seasons uh, and so you know what we've done here is just you know, sort of crystallize all of that knowledge and taken a, a deep dive into what happens to options what happens to earning season during earning season before during and after and uh, you know what is the right way to approach it so you know that's really what it is Yep, sure, sure. Okay. So next week Google starts. Um, so if you, you know, if you get the system, you'll be prepared. Uh, you'll be seeing the sample trades also that, uh, that uh, you know, would be part of this. Uh, and as you go through this earning season, and, and it's not particular to this earning season, it's obviously it you know the what you learn is uh, applicable to any earning season. So you'll have this particular toolkit in your hands all the time. So all right, let's see. Any other questions? This will be recorded, yes, and I am recording it right now. So if you joined late, no problem, you'll get the recording. If you've registered for the webinar, you'll get the recording uh, probably tomorrow morning. Uh, it takes a little while to render the videos, but uh, you'll get it by tomorrow morning, yes. Okay, so any uh, any other questions? Looks like everybody's clear. Okay, if you think of any question, um, please feel free to email me at info at optiontiger.com. Anytime um, you, know, uh, you have a question, just email me and uh, I'll get to it. But otherwise, um, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for attending the webinar. You'll get the recording hopefully by uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, you should have it in your email and look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks, bye-bye.